What's up everyone? Welcome back to One Strange Adventure and welcome to the next video. Today's video we're going to be talking about a new product that I have found. I think it's pretty cool. I hope it can help us out. I haven't even opened it yet, um, but pretty excited about this one. When I'm looking for products that can help improve my RV life, I'm thinking of kind of three categories. Uh, one, the functionality of it. Uh, two, is it multi-purpose? And number three, can it be stored very easily? So we're gonna take a look at all three of those aspects uh, as we get into this product. So check this out. Well, here it is guys. This is a new Ryobi tool. This is actually like a pressure washer and it's battery driven, really small compact, easily stored. I don't know what the water pressure is like. It can be used in a couple of different ways. So I'm pretty excited about this one, especially since the RV gets pretty dirty traveling so much. There's actually three different ways you can use this thing. One is you can connect the hose directly to it. Two, you can actually uh, run the hose into a bucket. Three, you can connect a two liter bottle to it. All right, time to open it. wand, more wand, get the hose, and basically what looks like a drill. And then we got the uh, hose adapter, a bottle adapter, and some instructions. Now one important thing I will say about this kit is it does not come with a battery. So I actually use Ryobi tools anyways, and I have uh, batteries that will already fit it um, that go in this closed like watertight compartment but uh we got the hose adapter this is to go in like a bucket uh, it's got a little filter on here so you don't get any uh, trash in the in the hose itself i think this is this is pretty cool i hope it has the pressure to actually you know do something when in terms of cleaning uh because i'm liking this the first of all the storage, we talked about three pieces, right? Functionality, multi-purpose, and being able to store easily. Storage-wise, like this is gonna, this is gonna go in one of my totes. Like this is, this is nothing for a power washer, right? Uh, and I don't have to worry about fuel or anything like that, which is going to be amazing, as long as it works good. Uh, that is, you know, TBD. But I think storage-wise, it definitely gets a check. Uh, Multifunctional, being so versatile, being able to hook a, a two liter bottle up to the bottom of this. So it actually will, a two liter bottle will just hang right there. Like talk about the ultimate water gun, right? That or running it right into a bucket, you can use soap with it and some type of chemical. Uh, I'm hoping to be able to clean the nose of the RV with it, along with the tires and like the, uh, the suspension, uh, getting just all that road grime on it. Hopefully we'll be able to uh, clean all that off. But I think it's gonna be multifunctional, of course. You know, it's not just for the RV, but for the vehicles too. And occasionally if the kids get on my nerves, you know, them too. So definitely multifunctional. Uh, so I think it checks the box in uh, those two. So let's see how well it actually performs and whether or not this would be a good, good addition to your RV uh, gear. The other thing I forgot to mention is, remember not all campgrounds are going to allow you to wash things in your campsite particularly the RV or your vehicle. But just remember to always check with your with your campground that you're staying at and make sure that it's okay that you actually uh, wash things in your campsite. One more thing we're going to test out consideration is using a thinner battery versus the thicker battery. Does it have any impact on pressure? We know longevity, right? Like how long the, the battery lasts. Uh, this one's going to last considerably longer, but does it actually have an impact on pressure? So we'll test that out for you as well. Some of the things we're gonna be using today, wash wax, this stuff works miracles, especially on the nose, the front, if you're worried about something that doesn't have like harsh chemicals in it. And you can either use this dry or with water. So we use this on the nose to get rid of all those bugs. And I don't know if you've seen our the front of our camper, I'm gonna show you just right now. Uh, we went through Pennsylvania where there was uh, cicadas and there were a lot of them and it looks like I went through a paintball field with uh, with my RV so 
we're gonna see if this can get rid of them along with the, uh, the new pressure washer. Uh, the other thing here is Super Clean did send us some uh, products. I use this on like the tire, the wheels, just to get the brake dust, uh, the grime off of it, and then make sure everything's lubricated properly afterwards. If you followed us for any, uh, any length of time, you may have seen this thing come up. This is actually a collapsible five gallon bucket. It may not look like it, but it holds a ton of water and stuff. So we use this to wash stuff. Again, functionality and easy storage. It just goes down and very easy and you can store it. Uh, we have a brush that I use on my tires and then you know, just a handy towel. So I think we got everything we need to, uh, to try this thing out. Give you a look at what it looks like before in terms of my suspension because it's dirty uh you know we've gone we've gone a long ways i'm going to test it out to see how much it actually gets off just by itself and then i will uh, use some cleaner and then after that see what it does so that we can uh, get a good idea of how well it works on its own Okay, this is with the, uh, the larger battery. This is the 15 degree nozzle. I think it does make a difference. That's the rinse. And then there's one called turbo. I'm not sure what the difference is between rinse and turbo, but the 15 degree seems to have the most pressure. Okay, here, here's some of my final thoughts on this. One, it's not gonna replace a pressure washer. It's not, it's not gonna replace that. But what, what it will do is it will get most kind of like practical uses done. Like it'll, it'll get the job done. Uh, so this, this really kind of shines in the sense that you don't have to have the water hose. If you're walking around with a two liter bottle, like that's all you need. The other thing, this is only $79 at Home Depot right now. I definitely think it was worth the investment. I'll be carrying that around and using it a lot. Now I have one tire clean and a little section of my nose clean. Of course, I got to do the rest now. If you're looking for something to be functional, multi-purpose and easy to store, I think, this is, I think this is a pretty good investment. This is the Ryobi pressure washer. Again, it just uses an 18 volt lithium battery. I will definitely be using this thing a lot. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have suggestions on other products you'd like to uh, see me use, leave those in the comments. Uh, make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so that you're notified the next time we release our video on Sunday We will be in New York. We're pretty excited about that until the next strange adventure. Keep making your own